Hi everyone, I hope you guys are off to a fabulous start for your weekend. Happy Saturday guys, happy, happy Saturday. So I just wanted to come on and share with you real quick um, some cards that I've been working on and I've been really digging through my stuff and, and trying to um, use up the, some of the things that I have, but also prepare some more items for my shop. So I had found these doors. Um, these doors I have upcycled from my job. And originally it had said Happy Mother's Day. Um, so what I did was I tore that out and then just stamped out all the best and kept everything else the same. I decided to do uh, a slim line, and this one is four by eight. And because of the gold foiling here, I decided to mat my white card base on gold. And then I embossed the back. I think I put the embossing folder away. It almost looks like a tire track. But I like it, like a chevron, I guess. And then just let the door be the focal point. The same way the uh, original sentiment was there, I just put all the best and then used my purple um, Little Birdie 3D drops. And this one is Orchid Lace. So I did this one and then I did the same one, but this time I just did the three pearl drops in each opposite corners <clears throat> and this time said sending hugs I did glitter up all the flowers um, just to add a little bit of more um, sparkle and shine but they're pretty similar and those are my two slim lines that I did and all my cards are blank on the inside and 110 pound card stock then going through my stash uh, back around February Mom to create had gifted this cute little tag on a package and I thought she was absolutely adorable. So I used her as the focal point um, and created an A2 size card. I had this really shiny glittery paper from Recollections, I believe. I've had it for a long, long time. And um, I used a stitched uh, rectangle die and then I went the size down just to give it that finished edge. And I let her be the focal point. These words are the wooden words that I, re I purchased at my dollar zone. And then I had a sticker that said you. So it says love you. And I thought it was super adorable just letting her sit there, all mounted up and pretty. And again, 110 pound card stock. So I thought she came out super adorable. And then I found in my stash, no, I was gifted um, these um, stickers, these 3D stickers. And I don't remember the name of it because I didn't keep the package. Um, but now, you know, we all struggle. Well, I know I struggle with manly cards. And I thought this was um, a great opportunity for me to use the paper, the corrugated paper that I purchased from Spellbinders. So again, um, just black base, first layer, the corrugated paper. Um, this time I used a wonky stitch die um, right there. And then I also decided to um, stencil. Now this stencil looks like, um, to me it reminded me of a net which is why I used it. And I um, used that uh, DIY modeling paste that I learned from Mom to Create. So a link to that will be down below and you can see how perfect it came out. So you're gonna have to watch that video to see how I did it. Guys, it's super easy. If I can do it, you can do it. And then I have these uh, letter dies that I purchased from AliExpress a long, long time ago. And I just um, die cut the MVP for the basketball and let that be the focal point. This can be an anything card. 
and any occasion card. And I did pop it up on some phone. So I did do that one. And then with that one, I also found um, a football one. And again, I follow the same black first layer, the corrugated. This time I did the uh, wonky stitch die in the white cardstock. The same stencil. This time I did it with green because I wanted to tie in that green. Um, and I believe I used uh, Memento. I believe it was a Memento ink. Um, again, with the words, the letters. And this time I put my MVP and fishtail banner that and let it come off the edge and let the football be the center point there. Pop that up on some foam dots. And this time just very small little black dots. Um, just a highlight in the back. So that was my not other card. And then my last card, I wanted to... Um, Used the Sizzix sentiment that I had purchased not too long ago, and it would, had a, a variety of different words. So I realized I didn't have any kind of anniversary card, so I decided to do an anniversary card. Um, and this is what I came up with in the white and silver. I just love the elegance of it. Um, so I did use that. Uh, stitched rectangle die and i believe that's from sizzix too yeah it is it's the framelits it's this one so i use that size and the size down i did cut the word happy and popped it up on some foam i um had a word a stamp that said anniversary and then i heat embossed that in silver I love these sprays. These are my absolute favorite. I have these and I have another um, swirly one that I absolutely love. Um, so I cut those out in silver and then I've been making flowers out of all my scraps. So I used the gray ones and added the pearl drops in there and then added these two drops all around. And this one says happy anniversary again on 110 pound cardstock. And those are my six cards I wanted to share with you today. Um, hopefully I'll get an opportunity to come back real, real soon and share some more. Tell me what you guys think, which one is your favorite. As always, stay blessed, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you real, real soon. Bye.